Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike, and today I have another free amp patch for you Helix and HX Stomp users. So a few weeks ago, I put together a, a new amp patch based around the Matchstick amp model in the HX Stomp. I was really happy with how it came out. I used it for a couple Sundays. Um, it had some good balance and a little different flavor, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. Going through some of these amp models uh, and trying to find some new sounds and some unique stuff and, and just messing around, I found that those matchstick models and the, the matchless style amps um, really don't require a whole lot of tweaking. You kind of pull them up and, and they, they sound really good right out of the box. So if you're struggling to maybe find um, some of those good uh, cleanish breakup tones and then uh, those nice overdrive tones um, that matchless or the matchstick model might be a good place for you to start. Today, like always, I've got an all-in-one patch and then a patch that is meant to be integrated into a full pedal board. Like I said, I've been I've been using these for the past couple of weeks at church. Uh, it has a different type of uh, EQ response, a little more clarity, uh, plays well with the, the reverb and delay. So uh, let's hop over and we'll walk through the patches and take a look at what we got going on today. And as always, uh, the links down below, you can find these two patches, again, for free on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Uh, thank you to everyone that's been over there and uh, downloaded some patches, tried some stuff out. Um, it's always encouraging for me to see people uh, claim those, and it's super encouraging when for those individuals, for you guys that have uh, supported me, uh, you know, actually bought me a coffee on that page. Um, super encouraged by that, so thank you so much. So let's head over and take a look at these two patches. We're taking a look at the um, amp patch, so the, the patch to be integrated with a full pedal board. Um, if you've seen my other patches before, you'll this will look pretty familiar. Okay, so um, walking through the patch here, um, we have the pitch vibrato and the four voice chorus. Um, again, those are useful. Four voice chorus is almost a pull up and super good uh, stock settings as always my reverb and delay sit in the effects loop for me um, and then our amps um, we have two instances of the matchstick channel one um, they're set slightly different not a ton um, slightly different similar tones where the differences arise is in the cabinet section again running the dual cabs um, one 2x12 matches H30. Um, you can see the, the mics and settings there. Of course, these are hard panned. And then the other, the 212 match G G25. Again, uh, you can see the microphones uh, and such hard panned. After that, I am using a stereo parametric EQ. Um, Again, if, you, if you're familiar with my patches, it's something that I use quite a bit. And then I'm also able to get the dynamic ambience block in this patch. So the, the one thing I started new here with this patch is I've used snapshots to kind of make it a little easier to go between single coil and humbucker guitars. Um, for me, the humbucker snapshot has a couple changes with the EQ. Um, I would probably also turn down the gain on the amps a little bit um, based on pickups and such so um, not a ton of tweaks but just little things to kind of dial in what you need for your guitar so um, utilize that if you choose so uh, with all that out of the way um, here's what it sounds like Again, just a little bit of compression at the board. Um, it's so pretty gritty, uh, kind of starting out, but um, for whatever reason, these these amps kind of are able to be gritty and have some dirt to them but still maintain clarity with the wet effects which we will take a look at in a minute um, as always here's the Timmy A 
a tube screamer. And then um, just a 6 dB clean boost. Hauled reverb and uh, like my medium dotted eight delay. Start clean here. with the Timmy. <laughs> Like I said, um, after kind of dialing that one in a little bit, really liked how it turned out and wanted to share it with you guys. So that is it for the amp patch. Let's pop over to the all-in-one patch and uh, let's take a look or take a listen and see how that sounds. All right, and now we're taking a look at the all-in-one patch. Okay, so again, guitar straight into the HX stomp here. Um, and quickly running through just the signal chain. You'll notice no compressor or anything up front. Um, and I went with the, the Dynadrive here. Um, something a little bit different. I also tried the Air Apparent in this spot. Worked very well. Um, after that, just a simple volume boost. So think of stage one as your drive. Stage two or more gain um, is kind of the boost post drive. Run it into the amps. You can see the, the magic here with this um, patch. We have stereo reverb and delay in front of the amps. Again, always like doing that when I can in these all-in-one patches. Gives a nice vibe here. So um, we're using the Mod Chorus Echo. We'll hear that in a minute into the Glitz. Um, as always, we have um, kind of two settings with those. Um, amp settings are the same or very similar to the, um, the previous patch that we were looking at. Uh, the cab section is a little bit different. Kind of mixed up just using different mics, kind of tweaking things a little bit. Um, the cabs are the same. You'll see the mics and the positions and all that stuff are quite a bit different. Um, just kind of went with what I thought sounded good. So um, again, you could, you could take a look at those. And then lastly, we, yeah, I am still maintaining this Parametric EQ, tweaking a couple things in the high end, stuff like that, um, at the very end here. If you want to put a compressor in this patch, um, get rid of this EQ block, and then um, you will have enough DSP to put a compressor up front, if you so choose and would like to go that route. With all that said, let's hear some tones. Um, dry. Um, here's the Dyna Drive.
with the volume boost. Turn those off really quick. Here's our delay. All right, um, that's our first. If we go over and hit the mix um, button on the stop. All right, and then rolling through our gain snapshots here. So snapshot one is clean like we were just playing. Snapshot two is drive, turns on the drive. Snapshot three adds in the volume boost. And then with more wet effects. Alright, so that should give you a pretty good idea of what those amp patches sound like. Um, again, really impressed with the matchless sounds in the HX family and the Helix family, um, and I hope these are useful for you. Again, um, head down to my Buy Me A Coffee page, check those things out. Um, always welcome feedback. Again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hope this is useful. As always, more to come. Subscribe if you're interested, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.